It is my honor as president of Imperial College London to welcome you to your 2021 postgraduate graduation. Today we join together from around the world to pay tribute to our graduates, celebrate their accomplishments, and provide our best wishes for their future. Graduates, you have completed your degrees in difficult and unprecedented times. You succeeded in meeting the challenges created by the pandemic with spirit, creativity, and determination. You and your professors created new ways of teaching. Many of you volunteered in your communities. All of you kept moving forward when it seemed as if the world had come to a standstill. You receive your degrees at a crucial time, as the world's communities must continue to address the pandemic while beginning to rebuild the future. There is greater need than ever for your knowledge expertise, and talents. Your family and friends have been a source of encouragement and strength during your studies. They share in the joy of today, and our academics who taught, guided, and inspired you also deserve our thanks. We also remember the family members, friends, and colleagues who we have lost or who have suffered the severe effects of the pandemic. Our hearts go out to all who have been affected. There will be brighter days ahead, and you and other members of the Imperial community will be a vital part of creating that brighter future. Again, congratulations. Thank you. I think there's, first, if one thing that, uh, that the pandemic has, has uh, I think, highlighted to us is that we, we need to celebrate every time we can because, you know, we can, we can be facing enormous challenges around us, and so we need to find every reason to celebrate. The postgraduate students have had really a very challenging year, and of course they've had to work in a remote way, as has everyone else. It's been a year that I don't think anyone would have possibly imagined, and yet to have got through this so successfully is a real triumph. I think everyone has managed really, really well, given how difficult the circumstances are. They've really made the best out of what's been a really tough situation for all students. And I think that they've really excelled 
um, as much as they possibly can in the current environment. I think all of our Imperial students, they're unbelievably innovative, so I think that they're pretty good with change and adapting to change, and I think that we've seen that from our student community. It is a fantastic achievement to get a qualification from an institution that's important and impressive as Imperial. It's not just a prestigious degree name that you have on your CV. It's more than that. It's about persevering through something difficult. It's about proving to yourself that you can do it. The graduation really marks a transition and a set of achievements. And I think it's a really important thing to celebrate what people have achieved this year. So I'm really glad that we're able to do this, even if it has to be in remote and virtual terms. And I do hope that, that at least we'll have this virtual ceremony, which allows um, us to recognise the achievements of our students. I think that actually this graduation ceremony is all about bringing people together. I think what really makes Imperial unique is, again, not just the academic side, but actually the community that we have. And I always see Imperial as being such a thriving community. This year was made possible by the exceptional efforts of a very large number of people. And I'd like to thank everybody in the college who's really pulled together to enable this year to happen. I take this opportunity to really not only congratulate the students themselves, but their families behind them and friends who've supported them through this time often at great distance. Become a part of Imperial is a responsibility to help the other part of the people in the world. I hope the graduates will f continue to feel an association with the college uh, and indeed with the faculty. Uh, you're always very welcome to come back. We'll always enjoy seeing you and hearing about your successes. I think you will find that you've been extremely well trained and that you will find interesting jobs, interesting careers and you'll always be part of Imperial College. I think it's important to stay in touch for a multitude of reasons. First and foremost, we just get a lot more done when people work together, and that's easier when like-minded individuals who may have collaborated really well while they were at this university continue to do so afterwards. Well, I am an alum myself of Imperial College. I'm an undergraduate and postgraduate student of Imperial. I've carried that badge with me. I think it's a, a prestigious badge. I think you will meet colleagues other students, other former students, other alum around the world, and there will be a common bond, a common experience. They can look back at this year and see how they reacted, how they were able to overcome the challenges and be successful. And I think that resilience that they were able to show is something that stays for their career. Whatever these circumstances might have deprived you of, by getting through them, you've demonstrated incredible tenacity and resilience, and you should be incredibly proud of that. This year has been such a difficult year, such a challenging year, given all the extra difficulties, all the extra uncertainty, all the extra complexity. I think the students really do deserve an extra pat on the back for, for their achievements. It's been the hardest year of my academic life, I suspect, for students and staff looking back, it will be the hardest year of theirs. So to have got through, to have graduated successfully, to have achieved, that's something to really celebrate. I think we all realise what a tough and challenging year this has been for so many people all over the world, coping with the challenges and sometimes sadnesses caused by the COVID pandemic. And of course, the impact of COVID has made this a particularly stressful and challenging year for all of you. We all recognize and applaud how you've coped with this situation and the determination you've shown in coming through these difficult times successfully. You should feel great pride in what you've achieved and we feel proud of your achievements. Completing a degree at Imperial is not a walk in the park, as you all know. You've had to show determination and many other qualities, as well as intellectual ability. You're graduating today, but you're not leaving Imperial College behind completely. You will always be valued members of our community, so do please stay in touch. Tell us about your future achievements, and I'm sure you will have much to tell. Whatever you choose to do in the future, and you will have many choices, what you've learned at Imperial should stand you in good stead. Over my career, I formed a view of the key ingredients involved 
in achieving success, it comes most readily to those with a burning desire to make things happen, a determination to achieve, and the skills to bring people together. You're all very well equipped to make a positive contribution to our world, whatever your academic background. Whether your future is in medicine, science, engineering, business, or something completely different, you can make a difference. Our world faces many challenges, as you know. You can and will make an impact, whatever you choose to do in the future. I'm sure in your own way you will do so, and we look forward to hearing of your successes in the years ahead. We wish you well for the future, and we congratulate you on being able to graduate today. Well done. Dear graduates, I am Professor Alex Michalides, and I would like to congratulate you on your graduation and on the resilience you have shown, especially after March 2020, when, due to the pandemic, we all had to move hastily online. This resilience will stay with you forever and will help you grow in confidence and in successfully pursuing your professional goals. After all, you did complete a tough degree in a period that was especially challenging mentally and physically for everyone. We, the faculty at Imperial, are proud of you and would like you to know that we expect you to make us even more proud in the future. We would also like you to stay in touch, both with all of us at Imperial and with all Imperial graduates. We would particularly like you to remember to be generous with your time in helping future generations of students and also, you need to be generous with your money in supporting academic scholarship at Imperial. Please allow me to offer some advice from this podium. Google Make Your Bed and buy the short book or just watch the six minutes on YouTube. Now, why start by making your bed? The idea is to complete every simple task that you undertake. Your first task is to make your bed. Get the little things right. That discipline will then enable you to get the big things right. Completing every little task you're faced with, step by step, patiently, with perseverance, will enable you to eventually achieve your goals. But making your bed can wait today. Congratulations and welcome to the Imperial family. You have made it. Off you go to your next mission. It gives me great pleasure to announce the names of the graduates from the Finance Suite of Programs and from the Doctoral Program, Imperial College Business School, Diploma of the Imperial College, Master of Science, Finance Suite of Programs, Finance. Georgia Brasoglu, Madi Bhattacharya, Maximos Bitsakis, David Borg, MSc Finance Outstanding Student Prize, Christina Brady, Derek Brett, Umar Butt, Francois Emerick Chapan, Alison Chen, Xiaodi Chen, Yi Jun Chen, Ekaterina Chernik, David Chung, Demilate Dada, Yori Deham, Anahida De Vito, Konstantin Delvac, Echo Ding, Ricardo Doyle, Alina Dragancea, Chris El Haj, Severiano Escribano, Elisaveta Fakrentinova, Stefano Franceschi, Cristina Gofas, Ishvar Gogineni, Tolga Gonulu, Jayuan Guo, Chindi Guo, Josh Khartoun Adulavacit, Nicolo Jacopetti, 
Chanju G. Robin Josephs, MSc Finance Best Applied Project Prize. Piyush Kalwani. Saraya Colton. Yuris Kuprianov. Yotor Langer. Cheng Lim. Sherry Liu. Anastasia Malakova. Nigel Mead Quantitative Finance Prize. Alessandro Maratani. Basil Mueller. Carl Nalpas. Shin Ni. Todd O'Connell. Milo O'Donoghue. Harry O'Callaghan. Caetano Oliveira. Sami Osborne. Dimitru Papimeri. Chaitanya Parankusam. John Petropoulos, Unigestion Investment Prize. Pirabut Puang Noen. Dorian Puric. Junje Chiu. Ankush Rajput. Farouk Royhaizat. Vimanyu Shakteva. Mengchen Shen. Anna Simionescu. Victor Steiner. Milan Stojkovic. Atamert Surgu, James Sweet, Kevin Tan, Ethan Tang, Christiana Tsukala, Jan Yu Wang, Kanatpat Wasinkoborn, Shichi Yu, Jason Xiao, Rocky Yang, Siyuan Yang, Yu Tong Yi, Dogan Yeldirim, Gigi Yin, Leon Wan, Lishan Zhang, Yukun Zhang, Yunfei Zhang, Izon Zhu, Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Finance Suite of Programs, Finance and Accounting, Tala Abdel Hamid, Raihan Afzal, Rapiya Akeweg Kyun, Oluyameshi Alayoya, Francesco Alfano, Betty Bai, Chris Bate, Francesco Becagli, Ayesha Bequani, Spiros Beccas, Danierad Benjapokul, Jonathan Berger, MSc Finance and Accounting Accounting Prize, MSc Finance and Accounting Outstanding Student Prize, Alessandro Bialetti, Marco Piazzolo, Victor Blaine, Sebastian Bond, Gusi Bu, Juliette Calot, Ahmad Ch Chamsedin, Jean Marie Chelala, Chelsea Chen, Chi Wan Cheng, Azuma Chiho, Adam Cinquemani, Matthew Crawford, Anya Chuni, Joe Cunningham, Anthony Danhaj, Amori de Buizer, Petro de Esteban Brugaloas, Olas. Julian Telomain de Lemo, Jafeng Du, Matthias Ebrahim, William Edwards, Kavinarasu Elankovan, Hoda El Reis, Emmanuel Chibueze Emefianim, Roman Ermolin, Iman Ezetim, Yuchian Fan, Zeyu Fang, Chad Fares, Yu Cheng Feng, Daniel Flynn, Giovanni Formenti, Yu Chin Fu, Yuntian Gao, Joanna Georgieva, George Gui, Yashavi Gupta, Richard Hartbeck, Cha Jun He, Charles Roman Henderson, MSc Finance and Accounting, Best Applied Project Prize. Ben Herms, Tianhao Hong, Matthew Houghton, Echo Hu, Eric Hu, Kunli Hu, Pijen Huang, Zhangao Huang, Chi Chi Huang, Yuyuan Huang, Zain Hussain, Arushi Yen, Yuli Yang, Minji Jin, Arthur Joselich, Serafim Karaberveris, Kantisa Karnogrusiri, 
Anne Catherine Keller, Obeid Khan, Shahir Khan, Wakas Khan, Tai Kim, Karen Kiwan, Fabian Kotek, Hank Ku, Janwei Li, Shi Li, Shimin Liang, Ziping Liang, Cynthia Liman, Yiming Liu, Chen Jin Hu, Lu, Ti Lu, Mi Luang, Cheng Ma, MSC Finance and Accounting Corporate Finance Prize, Martin Matei, Sabila Maharani, Victor Makinen, Bogdan Maximov, Simon Marty, Xunming Mei, Pitini McPanwat, Hamti Mirza, Asim Mohammad, Prarari Nakmai, Ling Nguyen, Chilian O'Connor, Alexia Ulyanova, Connor Parsons, Nicolo Perito, Car Carmen Pito, Arianit Plana, Sophie Pesterla, Jaogi Chian, Dan Ricalde, Pantari Rochenchania, Maxim Sabatier, Patamon Saktasawit, Vetle Salte, Julian Savioz, Daniel Schenk, Jushin Chen, Haik Simonian, Nutini Sirivata Charwen, Michaela Sternbal, Mengyang Sun, Suetha Suresh Babu, Venus Tam, Yanyu Tan, Kritika Tandon, Yunji Tang, Herman Thomas, Giverny Marth Dorothy Van Hemstra, Julia Vescovi, Virata Warachan Pancha, Simon Waller, Pasuta Wacharopat, Wichi Wang, Richie Wang, Shiwen Wang, Zitian Wang, James Wilson, Anthony Wong, Irene Yu, Ji Wu, Jason Shu, Ning Shu, Bihan Shu, Christian Yalamov, Fares Yamin, Wei Ching Yang, Che Yang, Don Yu Yang, Guang Yang, Nan Yang, Sijia Yang, Tian Yang, Xin Yu Yang, Zhi Yi Yang, Zhongji Yang, Sisi Yi, Xin Yun Yin, Bei Wan, Daria Zakharova, MSc Finance and Accounting Best Applied Project Prize, Arthur Zeldin, Qi Zhang, MSc Finance and Accounting Corporate Finance Prize, Zhongji Zhang, Yitong Zhang, Jian Zhang, Binpeng Zhao, Chen Zhao, Shukin Chao, Yanming Zheng, Zoi Zheng, Liling Zhu, Mingui Zhu, Yubei Zhu, Ganchang Zhu Zhu, Bitsen Tzu Ortenberg, Diploma of Imperial College, Master of Science, Financial Suite of Programs, Financial Technology. Khadija Ali, Pietro Alufi, Paras Arora, Jin Bai, Harriet Beaumont, Edward Bonnefort, Alex Buckley, Eddie Chang, Xiaoyu Chen, Xing Chen, Chris Takunha, Matthew Day, Hua Petro de Barros Gomez Cruz Almeida, Shamir Esaji, Mariam Faisal, Yachi Gao, Ruben Guinan, Bin Guo, Lei Yu Hu, Manlin Hu, Tiziano Hu, Hong Zheng Zhang, Yan Qi, Alisa Li, Chen Li, Zhu Hui Li, Pei Yi Liu, Ignaz Lumans, Kailan Luo, Xiao Liu, Yuhan Ma, 
Polotimir Melnik, Lichen Meng, Zebril Mohamed, Andres Kiriakides, Memorial Prize for Investment and Portfolio Man Management, Yanina Opanasenko, Yandru Peng, Joseph Sajafan Roj, Xin Yu Shen, Yu Zheng Sun, Zheng Sun, Zhou Tan, Best Research Project Prize, MSc Financial Technology, Financial Technology Prize, MSc Financial Technology, Outstanding Student Prize, Hira Tanvir, Yan Teh, Max Tio, Jenny Wang, Yidan Wang, Yijie Wang, Ziyang Wang, Huawei Yu, Yu, MSc Finance Technology Best Applied Project Prize, Yating Wu, Zhang Xu, Wenchuan Xu, Hao, Haolin Xu, Christopher Yao, Hari Zhang, Jazi Zhang, Wenji Zhao, Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Finance Suite of Programs, Investment and Wealth Management, Zaid Abdul Karim, Julia Alti, Natalia Antropo, Nayid Azizi, Adefemi Babington Ashai, Yulen Bakusan, Robin Dayuan Bai, Pim Chanok Benjawutiseth, Ching Chai, Christian Kailu, Vincent Chao, Alvin Chen, Yifan Chen, Fanji Cheng, Matteo Cerelli, Lena Chin, Shiam Chitu, Minher Krachonescu, MSE Investment and Wealth Management Economics Prize, Dayesh Daily Deveru, MSE Investment and Wealth Management, Wealth Management Prize, Mohamed Darvish, Alexandre Espitaler Noel, Yi Yu Fang, Nicolas Luca Frappicini, Asabea Gezi, MSc Investment and Wealth Management, Best Applied Project Prize, Surbi Gupta, Edrit Hoxha, Jijung Huang, Peter Hyde, Gibran Ibrahim, Esther Ifipuvato, Lim Mao Jing, Pablo Scamaris, Yuri Karpiu, Felix Knotzer, Felina Kuchamrani, Marcus Kwok, Bobby Lam, Valerie Lau, Sophia Li, Yeyang Li, Sini Li, MSc Investment and Wealth Management, Wealth Management Prize, Chengjun Li, Hao Liu, Yuelin Li, Michael Martinenko, Emil Melik Setian, Warren Merite, Hannah Millet, Salima Mulin, Alistair Eng, Alejandro Nicoli, Gomoleno Jonchi, Lexiu Pan, Ziching Peng, Sherin Pontitsaku, Zichao Chu, Raul Rilfler, Elena Rota, Dian Tsar, Sanchan Shi, Ivan Shishkanov, Aviral Singh, Hannah Slaxvold, Ji Song, Jacob St. Julian, David Sun, Ziming Sun, Shinji Tan, Jamin Tao, MSc Investment and Wealth Management, Outstanding Student Prize, Shiman Tan, Fanis Theodulu, Chris Tullius, Alessandro Vasconi, Chan Yao Yang, Yuling Wang, Eric Vicentano, Alejandro Volodimero, Marco Wong, Sean Xiong, Zhang Lei Yan, Kitty Yang, Marco Wu, Huria Zarinkalam, Silan Zhang, Wei Kege Zhao, Agostina Zheng, 
Chunfeng Zhu, Keshu Zhu, Yunyi Zhu. Diploma of the Imperial College Master of Science, Finance Suite of Programs, Risk Management and Financial Engineering. Eva Abend, Sultan Almerdraivi, El Hassan Barakat, Cheng Bayan, Sam Boyle, Roland Chai, MSc, Risk Management and Financial Engineering, Stochastic Calculus Prize, Wang Wang Tai, MSc, Risk Management and Financial Engineering, Numerical Finance Prize, Ryan Chao, Yurong Pao, Jingbu Chen, Yanchen Chai, Binglin Chen, Quintina Chen, Warner Chen, Chinyu Chen, Yandru Chen, Yumeng Chen, Ethan Cheong, Dominic Chiu, Arnold Sao Ching, Benjamin Clavery, Thea Constantino, Yunlu Chui, Connor Kalati, Zixu Di, Ziyu Ding, Wenhao Dong, Yao Dong, Xiaohan Du, Yutao Du, Simon Dankelman, Thierry Ed, Chengju Feng, Yu Fu, Shongling Gao, Shali Gao, Jia Yu Gu, Yu Fei Gu, MSc Risk Management and Financial Engineering, Stochastic Calculus Prize, Wu Fei Han, Jia Di He, Jun Hao He, Hu Dong He, James Howell, Yu Hu, Carl Hu, Andreas Irodiakonu, Aliki Ioannidou, Stefania Capsal, Ningjiba Cameron Nyuta, Amrita Kundi, Michelle Lam, Pan Lam, Louis Lau, Shuhuan Li, Jaming Li, Catherine Li, Kingsley Li, Mengton Li, Shang Li, Zekun Li, Ellen Lin, Winnie Lin, MSc, Risk Management and Financial Engineering, Financial Statistics Prize, Yuhan Lin, Zihao Lin, Chu Han Liu, Xiao Jun Liu, Xi Huan Liu, Zhi Xing Liu, Yalgi Lokason, Jaji Luo, Jingyi Liu, Changcheng Ma, Ching Ma, Vivian Ma, Yini Ma, Yuchen Ma, Chini Mao, Jorge Mate Pardo, Aria Moarev, Daniel Moth, Nali Nguyen, Yuhan Ni, Hongyang Pan, Interpal Panesar, Yulagat Pauin, Yi Peng, Simone Perfetto, MSc Risk Management and Financial Engineering, Best Applied Project Prize. Luke Poxon, Zhao Yang Chin, Hui Yi Chu, Tong Tong Chuan, Tommaso Rognoni, Nathan Rossi, Chai Ying Shi, Xin Shi, Yang Yu Shi, Ningakamo Sinkalavinich, Jay Siu, Zhang Song, Zhen Song, Bobby Sun, Kao Yan Sun, Si Sun, Yushin Sun, Mike Simons, MSc Risk Management and Financial Engineering Outstanding Student Prize, Yerin Tan, Zichi Tang, Tian Tian, Greta Tong, Zihao Yan, Anna Wang, Keith Wang, Wishin Yang, Qingqi Wei, Wendy Wen, Zishen Wang, Tom Whitfield, Master Tabong Visu Tarnawit, Wungbo Wu, Jerry Shi, Zewan Shao, Jishin Shi, Shuning Xing, Chui Hu, Liu Shu, Luke Wan, Yun Wan, Shubin Wang, 
Shuming Yang, Huiwei Yang, Yuhan Yang, Yuching Yang, Wang Gao, Tom Yehuda, Oscar Young, Ping Ying, Joyce Yu, Kim Wu, Si Chen Gu, Artemis Zavro, Zi Yu Zhang, Aini Zhang, Cynthia Zhang, Tao Zhang, Tinhi Zhang, Qin Yu Zhang, Chen Zhao, Xi Wan Zhao, Echo Zheng, Ji Zheng, Chu Bing Zhu, Jingjing Zhu, Jian Zhu, Wen Yi Zhu, Ting Zhuan, Riot Zorkot, Diploma of Imperial College, Master of Research, Business, Luisa Barzoka, Barbara Dufek, Shuli Lin, Mingyang Liu, Narges Mohammadi, Win Monroe, Vitali Riabinin, Ara Selvi, Han Zhao Wang, Imperial College Business School Emres Business Project Prize, Zheng Chao Wang, Xu Wang, Xue Chi Wan, Diploma of Imperial College, Doctor of Philosophy, Business Research, Mara Guerra, Crystal Lau, Artemis Panigaraki, ICBS Prize for the Best Performing Teaching Assistant, Vian Dia Sharif, Lawrence Van de Becke, Ahmed Yildirim, that now concludes the graduates from the Finance Suite of Programs and from the Doctoral Program. I'd like to offer my congratulations and thanks to you, the graduating students of Imperial College Business School, for the hard work, determination, and resilience you have shown in reaching this significant moment. This past year, without a question, has been one of immense challenge. But I like to think that it has also been one of incredible opportunity. I have been truly inspired by your creativity and innovative approach to your learning experience amid this pandemic. Despite not being on campus, you have not only been diligent in your studies, but have remained committed to making valuable lifelong connections within the business school community. From navigating different time zones to using various tools to engage in student-led initiatives like Coffee Connect, and the Student Career Clubs, among many other networks. I'm particularly encouraged by your commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion, with groups such as the Imperial MBA Women Club and the LGBTQ Plus Club. It's initiatives like these, created and led by you, that form a key part of the business school's evolving strategy to embrace diversity in all its forms. And it also ensures that staff and future students can benefit from working and studying in a more diverse, aware environment. For these, we thank you. And I'm sure you will join me in acknowledging the support of your faculty, your teachers, advisors, administrative and operations staff. This has been a team effort, and I'm so proud of the way my staff and you have come together to tackle our collective challenges very much head on. This moment helps us celebrate you and to mark the next steps you will take. You are our business leaders and innovators of tomorrow. But before you begin that next leg of your journey, Pause a second to recognize what you have achieved already. And know that you walk into the world as part of the Imperial College Business School community. 
We are very proud of you and look forward to celebrating your many future achievements. Hello to you all. My name is Sam Jonah, a Ghanaian alumnus of Imperial, who has spent a lifelong career in the mining industry. I count it as a huge privilege to have been invited to offer you my congratulations on your graduation, even more so in this most unusual year. This has, of course, been a year of many challenges and some outright tragedies for many of us. Yet, despite these trying times, you have made it through to graduation at this wonderful institution. And if I may say so, this is no small achievement. And I congratulate each and every one of you. I wish I could assure you that the future will not hold out other difficult challenges. Sadly, I can't. Today's global economic realities, as a direct consequence of the COVID pandemic, conjure up images reminiscent of those from the 1929 Wall Street crash. Businesses are going under, and we are seeing unprecedented levels of unemployment, poverty, and increased inequalities. Sadly, these are the realities of the new world and the one that you are graduating into. Graduates, this must be of great concern to you as you live here today with your new academic qualifications. The emergence of the pandemic has brought the need for rapid and radical changes to the way we live and work. If I may say so, there's no longer business as usual. Firms will be looking to recruiting and working with employees whose skills and competences are matched with the exigencies of the period. The essential skills, of course, include flexibility and adaptability, tech savviness, communication and emotional intelligence, creativity and innovation, and of course, an abundance of leadership skills. I have no doubt at all that the Imperial College experience has provided all of you with these skills in abundance. I arrived at Imperial many years ago, a minor with a narrow technical focus, and gladly, gladly I left here with a far broader skill set and a much wider understanding of business. Looking back, I can see everything that I have achieved since my time at Imperial has built on what experience I had here. I also left with a network of people that has proved a lifelong source of friendship, knowledge, resilience, and inspiration. Of course, as we all know, one negative impact of the pandemic here has been the reduced opportunities for physical contact to help network building. But I know you will mitigate that through making the fullest use of ongoing digital connections with your peers and others at Imperial. So, graduates, I am confident each of you will also find that your time at Imperial has provided a great foundation, and your success in graduating in this most challenging of years shows that you have the resilience and determination that will stand you in good stead through future challenges. That said, COVID has also thrown up some wonderful opportunities for particularly for those of you who want to go into business. In my own case, after decades of focusing on mining, I am currently shifting more and more of my investments to businesses that help bring greater sustainability, particularly those that are IT-based. Of course, I see huge opportunity for growth in Africa and so for good investment returns in this shift. But the point I want to bring out is that whilst it is a challenge to learn about these new sectors, the approaches to problem solving I learned long ago at Imperial are still relevant to helping me in this. Graduates, today's ceremony is a symbolic rite of passage, ushering you onto a new pedestal, where you will be required to make original and innovative contributions towards the creation of brave new worlds of humane, peaceful, secure and just inputs. I wish you well and God bless you. 
year of 2020, I salute you and I offer you my sincerest congratulations and good wishes for the future. And as we say in Ghana, Ayuko translated meaning well done. Thank you very much indeed.